Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we will see about pull up and pull down resistors. We will first see the need for these resistors and then we will see how to implement it. So, let's get started. So, over here, you can see a simple circuit. This is battery of uh, 5 volt. This is a single pole, single throw switch. This is a NOT gate or an inverter. Okay, 74LS04 is the IC number for NOT gate. A resistor connected to an LED. So, we all know that an inverter is a circuit wherein if you supply a logic 1 signal or plus 5 volt, the output is 0 volt and if you supply 0 volts at the input, you will have plus 5 volt at output. So, let's simulate this circuit by closing the switch. So, when we simulate the circuit, as you can see, this, this switch is closed and uh, 5 volts are appearing at the input and as it's an inverter, the output is 0, so LED is off. I'll stop this. So now I will open the switch. Now when I simulate this circuit, what we might expect is this wire isn't connected to plus 5 volts. So 0 volts is at the input of this inverter and on the output we should have logic 1 or the LED should glow. Uh, let's simulate this. Strange right? This LED is not glowing meaning that there is some more voltage than expected over here. We will use a probe to measure how much. Whoa, strange. See, when this switch is open, this wire is in floating condition, but still it is receiving 4.03 volts, and that is the reason we are having output low. So, in order to rectify this issue, we have the concept of pull up and pull down resistors. These are the two configurations this is the pull up configuration, and this is the pull down configuration. For the case of pull up, when the wire is in a floating condition, okay it will directly connect it to plus VCC. This is the main purpose for pull up. For pull down, it's completely opposite. When the wire is in floating condition, it will connect it to ground, okay, through a resistor. Of course, because uh, if you do not use this resistor and let's say I close this switch, then the supply has been shorted with the ground if you do not use this resistor. So this was the major difference, okay. So if you wish to connect a floating wire to plus VCC, then you will have to use this pull up. And if you have to connect a floating wire to ground, you will have to use a pull down. So um, there is a method for calculating this uh, value of resistors, okay, for both the cases. We will uh, implement pull down in case of uh, this circuit. Reason being, we are already having plus VCC and we have to ensure that when this wire is in floating condition, it is connected to ground. So we will use a pull down resistor in this case. Now coming to the point of calculation of that resistor. First, I will place the resistor at least. Before proceeding for calculation of this resistor value, we will discuss a small concept over here. For every logic gate, okay, there is a range of different voltages for which the logic gate will consider that input as low or high. Okay, so if you see the data sheet, this is for 74LS04 by Fairchild Semiconductor. Go down, scroll down. Here is the recommended operating conditions and there. Uh, for VCC, which is the supply voltage, they say that nominally you can provide 5 volts. See, this says that high level input voltage minimum is 2 volts and low level input voltage maximum is 0.8 volts. That means from 0 volt to 0.8 volt, the logic gate will consider that range as logic 0. And for range of 2 to plus 5, it will consider as logic high. So if you see over here, there is nothing mentioned about the range of voltages between 0.9 and 1.9. So your floating wire, okay, needs to be connected either to plus VCC or to ground to make sure that it does not uh, acquire any voltage uh, between this range because then the state will be unpredictable under these conditions. So the formula for uh, calculating the pull down resistor value is maximum voltage for which the gate will consider it as low divided by low level input current okay which means 0 0.8 divided by this which is 0 0.36 milliampere 
now uh, ignore this minus sign it's because of the direction of current and nothing else so the low level input current is 0.36 milliampere so if you calculate 0.8 volts divided by 0.36 milliampere then you would be having somewhat around uh, 2222 ohms so uh, we will round it up to 2.2 k okay so the pull down resistor value is of 2.2 k we will uh, change this 10k to 2.2k and now we can check the output so it, it is floating right now so we need zero volts so let's say the led is glowing now which means zero volt or somewhat between zero to point eight is being supplied so you are having zero at the output and when i uh, close this switch say plus five volt is going and the output is zero so like this you can calculate the pull down resistor value now we will try to calculate the pull up resistor value okay so the formula for calculating the pull up resistor value is vcc that is the supply voltage minus vih minimum that means the lowest voltage for which the input will be considered as logic high divided by high level input current okay so we will see in this data sheet okay so VCC is 5 volts. We are considering the nominal voltage 5 volts only minus VIH. That is this high level input voltage minimum. We have to take the minimum one. So we will take 2 volts and divided by IIH, which means high level input current. So that is uh, 20 microamps. If you divide it, you will be uh, getting the value that is uh, 5 minus 2, that is 3 divided by 20 microamps. So that is equal to 150 kilo ohms. So you will be needing a resistor of 150 kilo ohms for that. Now I will show you how to implement the same circuit using the pull up resistor. So for that we will have to delete this. I am also going to remove this uh, battery source and uh, this will be connected to ground. Okay. And instead of a battery source, I will be using a generator. So before that, I will place a resistor like this. And a DC generator above. So connected like this, we will uh, give the voltage of 5 volts. Okay. And we had calculated the value for uh, this pull up resistor to be 150k. So 150k. And yes, now when this wire is floating, this means that uh, plus 5 volts is applied. And when this uh, switch has been closed, okay, when connection has been established, which it means that the gate is receiving logic zero. So let's check it out. See, when the switch is open, the uh, input is connected to plus five volts through this resistor, and we are having zero volts. When I close the switch, see the LED is glowing, which means on the input we are having zero volts, and on the output we are having logic high. So this is how you implement pull up and pull down resistors in digital circuits to summarize everything pull up resistor is used okay when the floating wire is supposed to be connected to plus vcc pull down resistor is used when the floating wire is supposed to be connected to the ground so this is it for this video thank you for being till here thank you so much please do like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts suggestions do let me know in the comment section thank you for being till here thank you so much